climate change and death. But when we want to present it is my cause and that we let it on the next slide you can see the end of our presentation I will speak about all these topics. Motivation. Uh, intelligent agents and multi-agent systems are uh, very uh, quickly uh, development area in recent years and so uh, there is need for methodology tools for creation of such a system. Uh, one of the uh, perspe perspective approach uh, to this problem is using an ontological approach. Uh, there are some works in this direction, some of them are presented on this slide, but I have time to say about all of them uh, in detail. Uh, but uh, I want to know that uh, intelligent test design uh, is very complex problem and there are many complex uh, and quite uh, uh, complex aspects of this problem and we identified the problem as one of the active in this time and the first step in designing intelligent test is selecting of its architecture uh, many uh, deliberative agent architectures have been proposed uh, to date and we use in our uh, project uh, next uh, rather simple architecture uh, with five subsystems uh, and uh, as I have rather little time I will talk uh, only about uh, uh, situation assessment subsystem uh, and we will illustrate our approach uh, using this subsystem. Uh, uh, basic mental model are presented uh, on this slide consists of uh, uh, five functions uh, uh, environment perception, situation assessment, and prediction planning and plan execution. Uh, generally speaking, SES is intended for interpretation of current situation based on low level sensory data, and its function are main function are calculation of high level attributes of particular external objects and situation as a whole. Detection of meaningful events such as the appearance of new objects that can influence on current agent plan or state changes of existing ones that are essential for agent goals. Identification of problem situation type that is used as a context for planning subsystem. Uh, general SAS architecture is presented on this slide. It is a laid architecture. Mm. And uh, it is interpreted in terms of unmanned air vehicle domain because this application area is uh, quickly, uh, is, it attracts many attention in recent years. Uh, input data that arrive from perception subsystem may include, in this case, coordinates, velocity, uh, radar, cross section, and some other parameters of uh, air objects. All of them are measured for individual objects acting in environment. Based on this data, more abstract attributes can be calculated. For example, class of air vehicle or its proposed intention. In last case, case object behavior must be taken into account. It requires some prehistory analysis. Uh, next levels of SES architecture relate to group object representation. These objects can be hierarchically organized in any number of levels. Uh, and highest level, highest level contains attributes related to situation as a whole. For example, uh, uh, for example, in football or soccer area, it may be current score or time remained to end of game. Uh, 
Success may look include getting perception data in every mental cycle, creation new objects in the internal world model when an agent finds new objects in an environment, recalculating values of attributes for individual and group objects on different levels of abstraction, uh, delete object in the internal world model of agents when corresponding real object in the environment is disappeared, detecting meaningful uh, events and some others. It's important for our purpose that this basic cycle is invariant to the application domain. So we have implemented it inside one of the basic program class that is part of our software framework uh, or, or our design environment. Uh, another core part of our design environment is design ontology. Some classes and properties from it are presented on this slide. It's important to note that besides entities of real world and the relation between them, this ontology de describes some software components pre-implemented in our design environment and the relations between them and basic ontology concepts. Ontology classes that describe software artifacts and subclasses are subclasses of class implementation entity. In particular, class method implementation component describes software components that implement related methods for property value or event calculation. Data type property method implementation is related to this class and the range for this property is defined as string which actually is, refer is a reference to software artifact, package class or interface. ATA profile class means any time algorithm profile that describes quality of results for some algorithms as a function of available time. Uh, on the next slide, some fragment of ontology is shown. As one can see, a Mendeo vehicle has three primary properties. In this example, velocity, altitude, and radar cross section. One high level property, air vehicle class, and some uh, one related event. Uh, high level attribute air vehicle class related to air vehicle class is a class of ontology that has property, property method. The value of this property in terms of basic. Uh, ontology is entity calculate a vehicle class that is responsible for calculating the value in program code. This last one has property implemented by program component with which in turn has property has ATA profile. That rather change. Uh, on, the next, on the next slide, says build the GUI is shown. Uh, this is some prototype. The left window provides viewing of basic ontologies that contains objects being perceived by perception system. The right window in says build interface. Uh, it says build interface. <coughs> Upper panel with hierarchical tree allows to select individual and group objects that uh, have to be processed in access. Buttons to add and delete objects implements all this functionality. Uh, uh, as some object is selected, one may uh, form for a tree that contains properties and events related to this object. Object-dependent uh, entities hierarchy. For these purposes, buttons placed in lower part of window are used. Information related to selection entities is displayed in the right part of window. In shown example, air vehicle class property is selected, which is high-level property. There is a combo box with list of available methods that can be used to calculate value of this property. Method is supposed to be implemented by any time algorithms, mm, as I said above, and one can see profile for selected algorithm. And one can also see primary properties that is used as input data in selected method. In this case, uh, these are velocity and other. Uh, this design methodology includes uh, next steps. Uh, let's consider them step by step. Uh, on the first step, we have an initial date of design process. There are sensor, uh, these are sensor models that provide aid of primary properties for external objects and full basic ontology that includes entities for broad spectrum of applications and environments. Uh, this ontology obviously can be replenished over time. Having this information, user form 
user forms more narrow domain ontology uh, dedicated for design the agent in accordance with its environment and functions. He selects only classes needed to him for his particular purposes. Then we have to add and maybe delete high-level properties and events that need to be calculated to from ontological classes. In accordance with this, it fields will be added on deleted to from program classes related to entities under consideration. Uh, then, uh, then binding of program methods with frame classes are realized and then program classes are bundled. Uh, in program library packages and integrated in CES framework and then in intelligent engine framework as a whole. Now let's consider how all this works in our time. Uh, in every mental cycle, when situation assessment has to be done, new situation assessment <laughs> method. Uh, is called uh, in CES interface. This method realized main loop of CES that was considered above and calls methods of domain objects when, when it's needed. Uh, so so uh, you can see uh, conclusions and uh, our future direction. And we decide that uh, ontological approach to uh, intelligent tactic design is a uh, very equal and perspective direction that can uh, be resulted in uh, reducing time of design and development on such complex systems and uh, increasing uh, quality of uh, result and uh, thank you for attention.